if God exists, what is his nature? God principally is a spirit being. That's the nature of God. So if somebody asks you, where is your God? I want to see him. His nature does not warrant that you see him with your naked eye. Because he's what? A spirit being. Where is your God? I want to touch him. His nature does not warrant that you touch him. He's a spirit being. So he's invincible and he's intangible. John chapter 4 verse 24. Jesus speaking, he said, God is spirit. He said, they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. So as a Christian, you are not confused as to why you can't see your God with your naked eyes. Because you know his nature. His spirit. God is spirit. However, you can still interact with him because although he's invincible and intangible, he has other ways of expressing his nature. Number one, as love. And we can see the handwriting of his love. We can touch his love. First John 4 verse 8, he said, God is love. God is love. John 3 16 for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. So this love is not just a noun, it's also a verb. It is a dimension that can be actively manifested. God is also light. His light reveals his intelligence and his wisdom. And for every one of us who know God, we have seen God's light manifest in our lives. Because there are many times where you get into situations that your intelligence cannot sponsor deliverance. But you will notice that just from nowhere, the wisdom of your God goes to work. And you do something that you didn't study. You do something that you were not taught. You do something that your certificate does not cover for. And you do something that humanly speaking, you will not have been able to know and do. But you will know on your inside that this inspiration comes from the Lord. John chapter 1 verse 4, the Bible said in him was life and that life was the light that lighted every man. And then finally, we know God through his nature as fire. As light, in 1 John chapter 1 verse 5, the Bible said God is light. In him is no darkness, no variableness of turning. But as fire, the Bible speaking in Hebrews chapter 12 verse 29, it says our God is a consuming fire. So that speaks of his authority. That speaks of his rulership. That speaks of his judgment. Everybody who knows God here knows that when you err, there is a judgment you already feel in your heart without anybody threatening you. When you do that which is wrong, there is a rebuke, a conviction that you feel so strong in your heart. Not because somebody is threatening you, not because somebody physically is rebuking you. Why do you do that which is wrong? And sometimes you find yourself crying alone for days. That is the tangibility of your God that he exists as a judge. That is why you see that most times people hold themselves accountable when they do what is wrong. Even when they are not caught. Depending on how close they are to God, they will feel that fire. And if you feel it on earth, blessed are you. Because if you don't feel it on earth, you will feel it in eternity. But one way or the other, he must manifest that fire. That fire speaks of his judgment. It speaks of his justice. It speaks of his authority and his rulership. So, although God is spirit, for God manifests through love, through light, and through fire. It is on this note that even though we don't see our God, but we can feel his tangibility. I feel God's tangibility in his love disposition towards me. I feel God's tangibility in the manifestation of his light in my life. And over and above that, I know God's tangibility in his judgments. I know God's tangibility in his authority over my life.